If the crap hit the fan right now, ask yourself, what am I wearing? Because what you're wearing might be what you're gonna be wearing for a long, long time. Let's talk about it. So if you found yourself in some SHTF predicament right now, it's true that what you're wearing may be what you're wearing for a long time. Maybe you're gonna be in a bug out scenario. Maybe you're just gonna be away from home when something happens. Maybe you decided to jump in your car and go somewhere and you didn't even bother putting your winter jacket on because you know you just had to go from a warm house to a warm car and then you were gonna go into some warm establishment or something like that, not thinking that, hey, if my car broke down on the side of the road or if, like I say, there was some major a predicament that we found ourselves in that you wouldn't have the ability to keep yourself warm. Number one is always making sure, especially in winter, especially this winter, which was very cold, you need to make sure that you have a winter jacket in your vehicle, regardless of whether you're gonna use it or not, or some blankets in the very least. But this video is about my pants because I think I'm ready for a change. I literally, have worn the same pair of pants, not the exact same pair of pants, but the same brand and make and model of pant for the last, I'm guessing it's probably coming on seven or eight years. So I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form by the proper company. Uh, admittedly, I am trying to get some of their products into my store at canadianpreparedness.com because they make good quality stuff but they're not paying me to make this video. In fact, I'm actually looking for alternatives because I think I just need to change. I've been wearing the proper lightweight tactical pant every day for the last eight years. Now, some people might say, oh, that's boring. Well, quite frankly, I don't give a you know what about the pants I wear and whether or not somebody thinks I got no style because I'm all about function over fashion for the most part. I like to keep myself clean, looking professional, that sort of thing. But above and beyond that, it's function over fashion. And these tactical pants, I mean, they got the reinforced knees, they got the cargo pockets, they have lots of pockets. They have the, you know, cell phone pocket, which I mostly use for my Benchmade bug out. We all know that that's not a proper name for it, but that's what they called it. So that's what we got to call it. Uh, they do have a Teflon coating on them, which usually wears off within the first few washes. I probably went through about 20 pairs in that time, not went through as in they're not in use anymore, but I eventually cycle them down so that after they get pretty worn, after a few years of consistent use, I will turn them into strictly outdoor uh, pants. But that's the great thing about this pant is that I can wear it in the office and it still looks acceptable. And I can also wear it out in the bush. So I can go right from the bush to the office. I don't have to change. It's really a good multi-purpose pant. Now, some people say that it looks kind of like a, a tactical pant or a cop pant. I mean, it is called a lightweight tactical pant, but to the untrained eye, you're not really gonna notice the difference uh, between it and a cargo pant. If you get the black ones, yeah, they're probably gonna look like law enforcement pants. And if you are like a person who has military experience or if you worked like in private security or something like that, you probably, you know, would recognize it as being somebody who was, you know, packing an EDC or whatever. It's, it wouldn't be gray man in the eyes of those people per se. But if you guys have any suggestions on any way I can change up my pant game, because like I say, I'm always looking for the advancements in technology. If I can find something which was a little bit stretchier, but had the same durability and maybe a couple zip up pockets on there as well with some YKK zippers, uh, that would be a pretty significant enhancement. I like these pants because they're relatively cheap. You can find them on sale sometimes. I, I bought one batch from Cabela's. They were going on sale for 25 bucks Canadian. That'll probably never happen again. Uh, I paid as much as $60, I believe. So, and that's Canadian dollars. So, you know, you're looking at maybe 45 USD. I think that's the going rate, but you could probably get them a lot cheaper than that uh, nowadays. So, you know, I just stocked up. I bought like eight pairs. So I'm always getting flack from the people who know me or especially the women who know me that, hey, you know, you, you never change your pant game up. Why is that? They want to get a brother in some 
you know, tight jeans or something like that. And that just simply, it's never going to happen unless they invent some really kick-ass tactical tight blue jeans. Uh, you're never going to see it. Never, ever going to see it on this channel. Uh, maybe if I head out into the country and I get, you know, an acreage one of these days, but still, I don't like the feeling of jeans. A denim is just, I find it hot. It's terrible when it gets wet. It's just not a good material in my opinion. Maybe there's some functionality for it out in the in the country lots of you know cowboys like to wear denim so you know i'm not knocking it it's just not for me all right but if you have any suggestions feel free to let me know in the comment section something which is of a moderate price range would be good now with regards to how marshall is doing he's doing a lot better he's starting to put his weight back on again he dropped like 20 pounds because of this infection and the infection is still actually there in the implant the antibiotics have prevented the infection from spreading from the rest of his body, but they're saying that uh, it's likely going to keep returning because of something to do with it being inside the implant or something like that, or the leg rejecting the implant. So they got to take the implant out. Uh, I don't know how much that's going to set back his leg. He is running on it now. He's been playing with his other dog friends that he goes and sees periodically. He, he's in pretty good spirits, but he's definitely starting to get restless now because he's feeling like himself again. But, you know, it's uh, it's still challenging to get him out and get him running on it because we got to be careful at the same time because we don't want to cause any unnecessary damage to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that plate removed and, you know, give Marshall another couple weeks to to finally fully recover and then hopefully we'll get him back out in the bush again and i'm actually happy that he's getting that plate removed because that means that we are down the road still going to be able to do those winter trips without you know his leg getting uh, unnaturally colder than it would with that metal implant in there so in the end i think it will be for the better it was good that we had it in place for the time being but he's going to get it taken out and say la vie all right, so to end this video and make it a little bit more comprehensive, uh, just to give you some insight into the other things that I wear for EDC, I always wear the same pair of socks. It's typically a pair of darn, darn tough socks, um, usually the hikers or the hunters. And I wear those because they not only have a lifetime guarantee, but they have antimicrobial properties, merino wool. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Uh, they, they're very rugged, they're very long lasting, but they are fairly expensive, but it's well worth the money in my opinion. It, now in terms of underwear, yes, I'm going to talk about my underwear. If you don't like it, click off the video, but this is important because hygiene is absolutely important. If you get caught out there in the field for several days on end, or there's some kind of emergency disaster or something like that, you're stuck with the same pair of underwear potentially for a long time. So you better make sure it's a good pair. We live in a day and age where there's all sorts of good quality antimicrobial underwears out there. Um, Saks is a good brand. There's a few others. There's a lot nowadays, so I'm not going to tell you which specific brands you should buy, but uh, definitely look into that. And as for, usually I just wear a t-shirt. Um, of course, I wear my, my uh, what's it called? Outdoor Survival Canada jacket in wintertime, which is proven to be absolutely indispensable uh, particularly this winter i usually just wear my merrill hiking boots sometimes i'll wear my uh what are they called There's, there i have another pair of winter boots like a bigger winter boot for when it's really cold out but usually i wear my mucks if i'm just going on a walkabout in the woods i always put my mucks on they're just tall rubber rain boots which are also really good in uh, very cold temperatures and of course, uh, I usually wear a skull cap toque and just some gloves. Now, if it's really, really cold, I'm going to bust out my Skidoo gloves, which are like military surplus uh, large Skidoo mitts. But uh, you, typically, I don't really have to, to go to that, to that extent. Maybe I'll do a full overview of my winter wardrobe at some point in the future. But I'm really looking for a new pair of pants. So help me out in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I hope you found something useful in this video. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. 
premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.